I'm Jim Falstick, uh, a rancher from Central South Dakota. I've lived here all my life. Uh, my folks established this ranch back in the 30s and 40s, and uh, I started ranching in 1973. Uh, we went through major drought in the 70s into major economic challenges in the 80s for agriculture, as, as well as probably the whole U.S. economy, but it was especially hard times for uh, agriculture. We had to change. Uh, we knew what we were doing wasn't sustainable, so we've, we've changed our priority from being uh, predominantly all about production at whatever cost there is to the environment, to placing natural resources, and to managing not only our operation but the landscape. My name is Randy Meitinger. I'm a regional biologist with Ducks Unlimited. I've been uh, working with the DU for uh, about 20 years now. But Ducks Unlimited has many different partnerships, but one of our most important partnerships is with private landowners. Private landowners hold most of the habitat in the Prairie Pothole region, and that's um, crucial to work with these individuals. So the Prairie Pothole region is just a, a very, very diverse landscape with the, the mix of uh, grasslands, uplands, and, and uh, wetlands interspersed. Uh, the species richness, there's, there's hundreds of different uh, uh, birds, grassland birds, shorebirds, waterbirds, ducks, uh, game birds, uh, mammals, deer, and amphibians. It's just incredible. There's, and there's an equal amount of uh, grass and forb species out there. There's hundreds of different species of forbs out here as well. The shallow wetlands are really important for ducks to, uh, to get the aquatic invertebrates early in the year to the, where they can get the insects they need to uh, create their clutches. And as the hens uh, incubate their eggs and hatch the clutches. The more seasonal type wetlands that are a little bit deeper, those are, have warmed up enough where there's a lot of bugs and stuff for the, uh, for the broods to, uh, to take off. One thing that I find very interesting about these sort of ranches is that the birds that are produced here benefit the entire flyway and in fact the entire continent. And we've documented that from one ranch similar to the one we're on today, ducks have been harvested in 31 states in 13 countries from one ranch, just to illustrate how important these landscapes are for the entire flyway. What makes the Prairie Pothole region so unique for waterfowl production is the mix of wetlands and grasslands. For example, on the U.S. side of the Prairie Pothole region, there's 3.4 million individual wetlands, and that's interspersed through about 25 million acres of grass. It's that unique mix of wetlands and grasslands that produces ducks. So some of the threats to the, the landscape out here, the wetlands and the grassland, are uh, uh, tillage, plowing up native native prairie sod, and draining of the wetlands. So we we work in partnership with uh, some federal agencies to secure conservation easements that uh, prevent that from happening. We prevent the grass from being tilled and the wetlands from being drained. Those uh, easements still allow the landowner to utilize that land. You can still uh, graze it, cut it for hay. You can, if it's farmland, you can farm the wetlands when they're dry. You just can't uh, can't artificially drain those wetlands. I'm Brad Schmidt. I've been I'm the regional groundist with DU, and I've been at DU for about two years now. What we see is a lot of conventional tillage. So we, I mean, we see a lot of black dirt that's tilled up annually every every fall and every spring. When we do that is we're treating our soils almost like a catastrophic event because we have microbes and fungi and everything that are living in that soil that help us transfer nutrients to plants and bring up water to plants, everything like that. So when we go through and do these tillage events, what we're doing is it's, it's a natural disaster to that soil. 
the central flyway almost used to be on the eastern edge of South Dakota into Minnesota. I mean, when my dad was growing up, they seen, I mean, in southwest Minnesota, there was ducks and geese galore. I mean, this migration used to come in there. But now with all that extensive tile and everything that's happened in Iowa up into Minnesota, now creeping into the eastern edge of South Dakota is that central flyway has actually shifted. We're all connected with soil because every single thing that we need to survive, food, air, and water, all originates from the soil. So if we're not taking care of the soil and thinking about soil first, we as humans, and it's not even just the ducks that aren't gonna have, have existence anymore, it's gonna be us as well. So I think one thing that we forget about is, you know, us humans are not invisible. We're an animal just like everything else is. So we have to think about what we're doing in this world that's gonna impact for generations to come. Ducks Unlimited has done uh, various um, research studies showing different types of grazing systems and grazing strategies are, are beneficial not only to the ducks but also to the livestock producer. They have better, better gains on their livestock, better profitability, and it's better for the habitat. The grass is more productive, more robust. You have an increased uh, species richness and species diversity out there. So it's just a great, uh, a great uh, partnership working with, just a natural partnership working with the ranchers out here. From a big picture standpoint, uh, we see a grass-based operation as, as being in the best interest of future generations and, and our profitability at the present time. Uh, one of the other things that with a grass-based operation, we feel it's really helped drought-proof our operation uh, and, and the diversity helps with that as well. One of the main things we focus on is that mutual interest between ranchers, conservationists, and wildlife on two basic elements, grass and water. For duck production, those are the two elements you need to manage, grass and water. Very likely, those are the exact same elements that most ranchers have in mind when they're managing their landscape. So we work with DU and other partners to tailor a wide range of programs specifically to support grass and water management on private ranch land like the Fallstick Ranch. After working with landowners for 26 years in the Prairie Pothole region and great partners like DU, it's really become more evident to me than ever before how special the pothole region is and we need to redouble our efforts to protect the remaining habitats. And we can only do that in a way that also supports profitable agriculture. I mean, that is one of our huge priorities and goals is to, to help educate our, our urban consumers uh, and recreators how important what we do uh, in managing grasslands is. And I think the younger generation has grown to appreciate where their food comes from, water quality, carbon sequestration, and it's all important and there isn't anything does it any better than well-managed grasslands.